Osprey from MyChartCoach.com. And we are going to take a look at some of the ticker symbols in play today. Okay, first up, let's take a look here at NIHD. Okay, currently up 10%. We were looking for a bounce off of the middle Bollinger Band. That's this dotted purple line here, currently at 54. And so we had a nice uh, textbook bounce off that level today. The, the, the candles are forming above the middle Bollinger Band, and a new uptrend is starting. As long as that level holds, this uptrend should continue. What we want to see is a push through this upper Bollinger Band at 75, and a close above the 50-day simple moving average at 84. That is the big target. As you can see here, the upper wicks on uh, the the these three candles here uh, broke that level intraday, but it failed to close above. It pulled back, has held a middle Bollinger Band support. So we're thinking the next break above the 50-day simple moving average and close above would set up a potential run up to the 100-day simple moving average. Notice the bounce is on light volume today. There is a declining volume pattern, so keep an eye out for a volume spike. If there there's a close below middle, the middle Bollinger Band. That'll be a red flag signaling downside risk. Okay, let's look at SGYP. Okay, nice uh, move above uh, 50 on RSI. So it's uh, currently in the, the uh, 50 to 70 bull zone with room to run. You know, you've got a fast up here pressing 80, uh, a bullish crossover on ADX. The, the big move today was the uh, gap up open and then the run up to the 50-day simple moving average currently at 4 15. That is the key level to break, this green line. Bulls want to see a close above that level to signal more upside potential next week. You know, there could be a possible run up to this 300-day simple moving average. It will need to break uh, high close uh, resistance here. Um, if uh, you, you notice uh, in between high of day yesterday and, and low of day today, um, th there is a space. There was a gap up open. And so now there's an unfilled uh, gap on the chart. If the 50-day uh, simple moving average fails to hold and the share price pulls back and breaks middle Bollinger Band support, this gap could fill. So going forward, it's going to be really important that the candles stay above the middle Bollinger Band currently at 387. If you notice back here on the last break, Break above the the 50 day simple or above the middle Bollinger Band, a red candle formed. It failed to hold that level, and the downtrend continued. So the the gap is a red flag. If resistance fails to break, you could see that gap fill. Uh, the the positive is that there is big volume behind the move. Um, th there's a PSR bull flip, and you've got uh, bull crosses on both MACD timeframes. So it's set up to get a new uptrend going. It just needs to break 50 day simple moving average resistance to head higher. Okay, let's look at MARA. Okay, this. this broke above uh, 30, uh, above the oversold line on RSI. So that is good. Um, it, it's heating up on Fasto. Uh, you've got uh, uh, down here uh, a break above EMAs 4 and 8. That's the pink and green lines. Okay, this this is a, a you know, a, a very nasty downtrend. Look at the uh, the candles have been riding, uh, you know, EMA 4 resistance lower below the middle Bollinger Band. Very nasty downtrend. It's trying to bounce. Um, you know, this volume down here has caught our eye. You know, it looks like there's some loading down here at the bottom. Well, what we want to see today is a close above this lime line here, this, this green line at, at, at 0 0.25. If, if they can get a close above that, then we could be talking about a potential middle Bollinger Band resistance test uh, and possible break next week. That That's going to be the key level. It needs, it's going to need to get above the middle Bollinger Band at 32 to start a new uptrend. The positive is, you know, you've got a nice volume spike here. So we'll see if this can follow through. Okay, let's look at SYN. Okay, it's got a... a a nice uptrend going. You know, there's still room to run on RSI at 63. It's not overbought until 70. You do have fast O hitting the overbought level. Uh, bullish on ADX with the green line above the black and red lines. The the, the key level today is the 100-day simple moving average currently at 68. Notice that the share price broke above that level and pulled back. It's formed this long upper wick uh, showing profit taking. So going forward, it needs to close above 68, turn that level into support. Then you could see a run back up into the 80s, putting the 200-day Simple moving average and dollar land on deck. Currently, the 200-day simple moving average is at uh, 1.0, and so uh, so that that will be the next target with the close above. No, notice that. The
that the, the the share price has been working its way higher here. You know, there there was a close above the middle Bollinger Band here on this candle, and then this uh, the middle Bollinger Band held. It broke above the 50-day simple moving average. That level held. Now it's the 100. If it can get above the 100, hold that, then it'll keep stair climbing higher. Failed to break this 100, you could see it pull back and test the middle Bollinger Band and the 50-day simple moving average down here around 55. As long as that level holds, this uptrend should continue. So it's a nice move here. Um, it does look like there's a small micro unfilled gap between high of day yesterday and low of day today. If there is a pullback, look for that gap to fill. Okay, let's look at CCIH, uh, one of the China plays uh, running today. You know, we alerted this yesterday when it was uh, heating up. Um, I might have only gotten alerted in the chat. I'm not sure if I posted this on stock tweets or not. But yeah, we were talking about this yesterday. It broke above the middle Bollinger Band. We are looking for a close above the 50-day simple moving average. That did happen yesterday. That was signaling more upside to potential. And then our next target became this 100-day simple moving average. Notice the top of the, the wick on, the, on today's candle hit that level and it pulled back. And then uh, now the share price is down here at 157. Today's candle is floating above the upper Bollinger Band. There is a small gap, it looks like, between high of day yesterday and low of day today. Um, the the If the candles do work their way back into the bands, what you'd want to see is the 50-day simple moving average at 126 hold. As long as that level holds, this uptrend should continue. It's going to need to close above the 100 to, to push higher up to the 200-day simple moving average. You know, there was big volume behind the move, but the upper wick on today's candle does show profit taking. So, uh, yeah, this looks like it could be getting a new uptrend starting on a pullback if this uh, 50 holds that will be the reload level okay let's look at a and w okay this is another uh, chart that's uh, you know it, it's a it, this is a dead cat bounce play okay yesterday it, it, it bounced it found support and then we were looking for a close above EMA 4 break above that level today it did break above EMA 4 so uh, th th this this is a nice move you look uh, for a close above that level to signal more upside and then next week what you want to see is a break above EMA 8 and then a run up here to the bottom of the gap. Um, that's always a tough level to break. That's just uh, above uh, EMA 13 right now. Um, that would be the eventual target. Many times uh, when, when stocks dead cap bounce and they run back to the bottom of the gap, that signals the climax and top of the run. So yeah, this is a nice uh, bounce play, nice dead cap bounce. Um, if it fails to hold EMA 4 and it closes below that level, that will be a red flag signaling downside risk. Always risky to hold a, a penny stock or any stock for that matter that's uh, forming candles below EMA4 on the daily chart. Okay, let's look at NAO. This is a stock we've been following. We've been looking for a break above resistance. That happened intraday today. Um, you know, it, it needs to close above the closing price on May 15th to head higher. It, it, it broke above that level and then pulled back. And so it's still in this uh, consolidation zone. You know, that's this prior uh, sideways trend from back here in uh, March. And then, you know, it continued that sideways trend here. It, it, it it had filled this uh, jar, you know, it came down, came back up, filled, filled the jar back to the, the, the March levels. And then now what we're looking for is the top of this jar to turn into support. We want to see it close above that, and that should signal the push higher. So there is good volume behind the, the move today, but this long upper wick shows profit taking and possible dilution. You know, they could be selling shares into the run. Um, if you look over here on uh, MACD, there's, uh, it's pinched on the 8, 13, and 5, and it's pinched on the 12, 26, and 9. You know, if it crosses over, that will be very bullish. Uh, there was a PSAR bull flip today, uh, a bull cross on ADX with the uh, plus DI uh, crossing ADX to the upside. That's a signal the bulls are taking control. There's a bullish crossover on fast O and you still have uh, <coughs> RSI in the, the 50 to 70 bull zone. So it's all set up here. It just needs to close above resistance to push higher next week. And then here's one more play to look at on this video. In this video is a BIOS. It has a nice uptrend going. And then now today it has hit the uh, uh, 300 day simple moving average currently at at 212 and so that is the big level if it fails to break that 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 could signal a climax in the top of this current run on a pullback you would want to uh, see the the 200 day simple moving average at 190 hold and turn into support if it can close above the 300 that could signal more upside potential and a push higher so yeah bios uh, you know many times when a stock hits the 300 day simple moving average that signals the top okay thank you very much for viewing this video check us out at mychartcoach.com and our youtube channel at mychartcoach.com Thank you.